2,000 years later. What's up guys? It's been 2,000 years since I last made a hair video and no excuses. I've just been making other content so no excuses. So I decided I'm going to make a hair video today, today, today and get that uploaded to you guys. So I'm still on my dreadlock journey. I think it's been about I'll check on it you guys know later but today's video is all about why how can I put this mildly and not so hard why you don't want dreads so yeah I just, I just have a couple of reasons why you personally wouldn't want dreads and just to give you a little guideline to see if dreads are right for you so yeah don't forget to like, subscribe, it's your boy wanna be mad, leave comments down below, links are in the description for all of my socials, and let's jump straight into the video. I mean, why wouldn't you want dreads? They're so cool, right? Of course they are. But there are a lot of reasons why you don't want dreads and I'm gonna give some of those to you. The first one was um, dreads are not for you if you're not patient. If you're not a patient person, these are not for you. I'm gonna tell you why. You see this? I don't know how many, how many years I've been growing my hair. I think I've been growing my hair probably three years before I got dreads because I had a height of fame. I had a height of fame. If you want to know about why I'm on a dread journey, blah blah blah, I did a video, the link somewhere on the screen right now. There is a suggestion video. If you don't have patience, dreads are not for you. Because this right now, this is about nine months worth of lock. Nine months worth of lock here, and it's not fully locked. So yeah. As you can also see, my hair is a mess. I haven't retwisted in about three or four months or right, something like that. I don't mind, I don't mind messing with it, but I need to get it done one of these days before this month ends. But anyway, yeah, you have to be patient with dreadlocks because they're not going to grow as fast as you want them to and they're not going to lock up as fast as you want them to. So yeah, you got to be patient guys, you got to be patient because my hair grows really fast and I still think it's growing pretty slow because if you guys watch my other video, you know the goal I have for my dreads is the man bun. So, once I can complete the man bun, it's be all the gravy over here. So yeah, that's one reason you don't want dreadlocks. Reason number two, if you hate questions. Okay, so stepping into the territory of dreadlocks, you will be bombarded. Bombarded. Boy, if you don't get with questions from every and anybody about your dreadlocks. How long is your dreadlocks? How many dreadlocks do you have? Why do you have dreadlocks? Do you wash your dreadlocks? Can you wash your dreadlocks? Who did your dreadlocks? And the questions go on and on and on. So yeah, if you don't like being questioned, dreadlocks are probably not for you because they're an interesting hairstyle so people naturally are going to want to know about dreadlocks so they're gonna ask who you because you have dreadlocks about your dreadlocks and dreadlocks in general so that's typically what's going to happen when you have dreadlocks you're gonna get bombarded with questions all the time so reason reason number three if you have low self-esteem so if you have low self-esteem Dreadlocks are not for you. I'm gonna tell you why. So, say I'm walking, 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 and someone, I don't know, sees me. They're gonna be like, I hate your dreads. They're gonna be like, oh, why? And they'll be like, oh, I think you're disgusting. And you're gonna be like, oh, no, you didn't. And then you're gonna be like, oh, sad, sad, cry, cry face. And you're gonna be like, Boy, if you don't get You're gonna probably go home and cry about it and may even want to cut your dreadlocks. 
But I'm gonna stop you right here. Don't do it. People are going to always hate. So guys, if you have low self-esteem, just be prepared for not everybody's going to like your hairstyle. Cause I have an aunt right now that doesn't like my dress. She has no problem with me. She just doesn't like the style. None at all. Whatsoever. She has a daughter that has dreads. She doesn't like it. She now has a nephew that has dreads. She doesn't like it. So you're just gonna have those people that don't like your hairstyle. So you need to have your self-esteem needs to be on a level so that you guys can rock your hair without being motivated or whatever about your hair. So yeah, that's another reason. Reason, reason number four. If you like drastic change. So, with dreadlocks, you know that it's not a permanent hairstyle. It's more semi-permanent. But you can't wake up today, say you want dreads, and then tomorrow you don't want dreads. Well, you can, but that's a lot of work. But you get what I'm saying. So, if you have dreads now, and next week, just know that you're gonna have dreads. So, if you want to have dreads now, and um, like short hair next week, and then week after that, you want dreads. No, it doesn't work like that. You have variations to your dreads, but there is not gonna be any drastic change from dreads to no dreads to dreads again. It doesn't work like that because it's your hair, it's been matted and unlocked on your head. So you can't just cut it off and then grow it because you spend all that time matting your hair just to cut it off. So if you want to change your hair every week, dreadlocks are not for you. So find another hairstyle. And the last reason why dreadlocks are not for you. Number five. If you don't like being stereotyped. So, come with the stereotype of having dreadlocks is that you don't work, you smoke weed every day, you listen to Bob Marley 24 7. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, if you don't mind that stereotype, Join me on my dreadlock journey and start your dreadlock journey. But if you mind a stereotype, then dreadlocks are not for you. And it's even a bigger stereotype on my part being I'm Jamaican. So if I'm Jamaican, I have dreads. Hmm. Obviously, I smoke weed every day and listen to Bob Molly. Duh. Clearly. That's, that's what I do every day. Isn't it? So yeah, if you don't mind that stereotype, I don't mind that stereotype really. Even though I know that's not what I do, but hey, I can't tell you what to think or you guys gonna have your own opinion. But yeah, so those were five reasons why dreadlocks are not for you or you don't want dreadlocks. If these make any sense to you, then may get a thumbs up. If they don't, then make a thumbs up. Then I'll try and you know what? Scratch a thumbs up. Or give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up guys. And yeah. Leave me any comments in the comment section below and I uh, read and reply to all the comments. And any questions you guys have, leave them in the comment section. I'll reply to them. It's your boy wanna be mad. I'll definitely try to be making more dreadlock videos as I go along. As I said, I'm trying so many different content. So yeah, more videos for you guys. And I'll see you in my next one. Peace. Oh, it's so wet. What's up YouTube? It's your boy wanna be mad. It's a lovely day. It's a bit hot, but it's still a lovely day. So I'm guessing from the title of the video you guys know what this video is about. I have dreads. I just washed them.